Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 178 of Trail 1.3. The last episode, the majority of spent, uh, majority of which was spent right here in the jungle. We got a bunch of banners down. We got our kill count up quite a bit on various enemies. But one episode did not expect to do it. But we got six turtle shells. I'm gonna go through and quick stack, and before it puts them away somewhere. <laughs> so what we're what we're now capable of doing. I'm going to check the safe to make sure I didn't put them in the safe. No, 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 nothing in the safe. We are now capable of making the turtle shell armor and then the um, beetle one. So I need chlorophyte bars and keep the shells on me. Let's go to an anvil. And there it is. Turtle helmet. This stuff, this stuff. I think this was, at one point, this was the best armor. And then they added the beetle armor. This one isn't in the game right away. So how much do we have? 99 plus 5? Uh, I don't think we have enough because we have to make the set twice, right? Yeah, we, d we definitely don't have enough. So what is it? 12, 24, so we're at 36. Uh, yeah, we're close. We're very close. We have to go get a little bit more chlorophyte. But now it's time to hang up the turtle armor. So that comes right after chlorophyte in my, my list. So hollowed chlorophyte. And then turtle armor is actually going up a level. So turtle armor is the first armor that made its way to the top shelf of mannequins. Excellent. Now the beetle ones will go right here. And then after that is actually my specter armor, not my specter armor, blah, 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 my shroomite armor. And then we plop down specter armor, which I think I crafted already. Or I'm very close to, well, I have all the stuff for it. I don't know why I thought I crafted it. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't make a uh, an armor chest, which is kind of silly, but again, it's because of all the mannequins. Either way. Let's quick stack some garbage, clean up the inventory, go mine a little bit, pull out, I think, one of each potion. One spelunker, one mining, should be all we require. You can buy the jungle rose, Let's just get that out of my inventory. Oh, the zombie arm, forgot that we picked that up. We were killing a lot of things last time. So, of course, we get some crap. Turn in the strange plant. Also, Timmy, did you have a fishing quest that wasn't just obnoxious? That, that's like the ideal quest. He's a, a fish that can be caught, and I quote, anywhere. Sure. Hey, let's turn your uh, your firework things on. Uh, well, it says anywhere, so we should be able to come up here. <laughs> Give me that slime fish. Give me that slime fish. I'm just going to sit in my UFO and... Mm -mm -mm. Just, yep, just chill. And there's a wyvern. Suddenly wyverns. I, I will let my UFO, not my UFO, yeah, actually they are UFOs, <laughs> let my UFOs kill you. How about it? How about it, Wyvern? And I'm just going to keep fishing. Sounds good? Eh. We'll take the occasional hit here, but I'm fishing. Eh. It's kind of hard to dodge him, because <laughs> the thing's not super, super quick, but it, it's doable. No slime fish quite yet. <laughs> fishing with Wyverns. Fishing with Wyverns, because we can. Oh! Oh, the damselfish. Nah, that, that goes in the calming potion, which is not something I think I've really been making use of. Come on, Wyvern. Go, go away, Wyvern. No no, no one likes you. You're almost dead, which is really funny. I, I, this isn't even like a summoner's build. This is just letting my UFO do its thing. I, I can't believe it's doing that much damage, to be honest with you. Why won't you bob? No! Why are there bass in the sky? I don't need no sea bass. Stop it. Sea bass. Sky bass. What am I talking about? <laughs> wrong spot no that's that's in the ocean we're in the sky right now what am i doing harpies please I, I don't need you in my life i don't need more damselfish i'm totally about to just go on the ground because it seems to be our better bet we have a bigger pond down there anyway damselfish come on oh my god this wyvern's so close to being dead i'll stay here at least until the wyvern dies to my ufo because we can come on Slimefish, slimefish hype. Never thought I'd have this much trouble catching a slimefish. Uh, we also go to the cave, and he's dead. And of course, look where he died. A spot where I can't really easily access the loot, which I want. Uh, we'll fill in the clouds that we dug up. Okay, so let's teleport home. Let's, uh... Hmm. Oh, we'll just go to the pond over here, that's fine. I also toggle this so all the levers are going the right way. I still might add some kind of like platform to where we have those those levers. And what I mean is similar to the pumpkin moon arena over here, which we'll use for the frost moon. It, like it comes up with a, it's like a wall. 
that comes up and then you place it on that wall. It's like an elevated switch, basically, an elevated lever. Give me that slime fish. Come on. It can be caught anywhere, game. You're, you're doing it again. It's the fishing quest from hell. Ugh. Don't make me go down. I'll go in the underworld and I will fish in lava. All right, we got it. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't, wasn't great, but it wasn't too bad. Favorite that. Favorite that. Get off the UFO. Favorite this way. Don't do anything dumb with it. And let's run through and quick stack all things. The souls should go away. I think the berries. Uh, why didn't I quick stack them over there to the right? Do I not have any berries? Or blueberries, that is. But let's see. Okay, there we go. Works for me. Still got the spelunker, still got the mining fish, got the potions that I need for what we're about to do. High test fit. That's like the third one. How about you give me the uh, the, the, the bigger net, you jerk? Alright, so we want to go back to the jungle. Let's head over there, get a wee bit of chlorophyte, and we should be good to go. Awesome. Beetle armor hype. Hey, Herpling. Or Derpling. I keep I keep mixing up the names. I don't even care at this point. It's just It's just going to happen. There's another plantaria ball. That one's been there for a while. That one's the one I don't want to aggro because I have a feeling it'll be enraged this, the moment it spawns in. And I don't want to deal with an enraged plantera. That's not fun. That's not fun. It's pretty difficult. Smart cursor activated. Pull out the digging claws. And it looks like there's quite a bit of quite a bit of clarified over here. So this is where we will start our adventure. Let's just dig on through. This should not take very long at all. We don't need that much. Leave some behind. Uh, if we can find some actual chlorophyte deposits, that would make it not take long at all. <laughs> it's all about that R and Jesus. R and Jesus hype. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. I thought that was a plantar ball, but no, that's from my arena. All right, that's the uh, the heart lanterns. So we probably mined quite a bit of chlorophyte around here anyway. And I did close off most of these places for obvious reasons. So. Let's just like, go out this way. Basically, you don't want to let random enemies enter your arena while you're fighting Plantera. Hey, look at that. The perfect placement for a bulb. Quite literally right next to the arena. I'm not even going to mark it because it's right next to the arena. And I, can, I can remember that. Even I can remember that. Turtle's not going to find his way down here. No way, no how. I'll take some of that palladium. Oh, I'll take all the silt, though. Still have to go use the silt we have at home. Yeah, and there, there should be quite a bit in the, one of the chests. We've definitely amassed a bit. We, we've been mining for some time and just quick stacking. I can't remember the last time I used the extractinator. So usually when that happens, you have quite a surplus. <laughs> usually, anyway. Did I loot this? I did not, but I'll take that. I'll take this, the extra those, the dynamite. Uh, I know it's dynamite. I want to get away from that. That didn't go where I wanted it to. Boom. Okay, Arm what do you what do you think you're doing? You, you're not salmon. Quit climbing up here. Gesture there is rid of. Mainly just want to get rid of the chest. Okay. Let's get back to mining. How much chlorophyte do we have in our inventory? Uh, 113. Of course, you have to divide that by 6. So, not a lot. <laughs> not a lot at all. There's a plantera bulb over there. But there's way more chlorophyte this way. Let's hit it up. We can go mark that bulb if necessary. There's still some items Plantera has to offer. I don't think anything in particular that I really need. But if we still like, if we still needed the pygmy staff, we'd be we'd be farming Plantera right now, so we could get the tiki armor. But thankfully, I think it was one of the first things he dropped. I think it might be the first thing he drops all the time. It might be the guaranteed item. I could be very much mistaken there. Okay, P for plant Terra. There we go. We've got that for later. So of course, the reason I do that, if you look on your mini map, you see that P. And then I know we found some over here, right there. There's a plant Terra bulb. There's a plant Terra bulb. We found quite a few. That there's a plant Terra bulb down here. We found quite a few a couple episodes back when we were digging. Just, just they were everywhere. So all I have to do is look on my map, look for a P. Like, say I want to kill plant Terra. Look, look for a P. And then if it's close to my arena, chances are I'll just, you know, lure him over. Maybe I'd, I'd set up a new arena. It, it, it really depends. But, yeah, nice to know where the bulbs are. Because they're a pain in the butt to find when you want them. I, I hate that about Plantera. Super annoying. I want lead in my inventory. Let's get rid of the jungle seeds. Hey, more silt. Hey, a big-ass lava waterfall. That's in, like, one of my elevators. Why? Oh, my goodness. Why is that there? No, no, you guys get out of here. Stop. 
trying to kill me. Get out of here with this. There's another Plantera bulb. I can't seem to get away from them lately. I mean, it's been a while since we've killed one. So they've all just been spawning this whole time. I guess that makes sense. All that silt. All that silt, though. Get wrecked. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll put a P for plant sizzle right here. Well, I'm not sure what's shooting fireballs over there. I, I'm not even going to worry about it. P for Plantera. That's a weird looking P. Let's fix it. There we go. P for Plantera. Was something on fire over here? Yeah, but that's what it was. That's probably what it was. Look at all this, uh, look at all this Uh, let's get rid of the two silk. Wasn't there a nature's gift here? Or did I pick it up? Oh, they, they could sell that for a little bit. Could be wrong. Doesn't matter. I think we have enough chlorophyte to get out of here. Now, I mean, again, I would want it for the bullets, so maybe we want to stick it out till the potion wears off. Hey, look, another marble biome. Guess who's going to dig away from the marble biome? This guy, because Medusa is a douche. Get out of here, Medusa. I don't even want to deal with you. No, thank you. I'll take that life crystal. I have plenty of them in my uh, piggy bank anyway. <laughs> I eventually will start selling them. There goes the Spelunker potion, which sucks. Tim again? I just saw you like two episodes ago. Why are you so common all of a sudden? Tim, I will I will wreck your face. I will wreck your face with my digging claws. Get wrecked, Tim. Give me that hat. Victory trophy. Uh, let's be careful of Medusha again. She is very liable to spawn. Uh, how much time do I have on the mining thingy? Three minutes? I don't even know if I want to commit three minutes to it because right now I'm digging blindly with no no idea where we're going. Not really worthwhile. And I don't have another Spelunker with me. I know I can craft a whole bunch more and I know I have a bunch at home, but I only brought this one. That Demon Eye looks really freaking cool. <laughs> I love the way it looks when it's really dark and you just find the Demon Eye Ore. Alright, let's get out of here. I'll take the Amethyst because it is, it is pretty worth it. Get rid of that. Okay. Just throw these bombs, get them out of my inventory. Nope, you stay away from me. Because bombs are fun. Ask Gimli. That's why he died. No, I... I Tim, another one! I have no idea why Gimli died. What is with all these Tims? This is the third Tim in, like... Uh, I'd say two or three episodes. What? RNGs is in all the wrong places. I don't even know. Just give me all the random stuff where we don't even want it. Sure, I'll, t I'll sell that. Get rid of that. Uh, I'll sell a life root because that's all they're good for. I should sell that. Let's melt some stuff down and make our beetle armor. Which, again, let's make the chlorophyte bars. And then just to prove a point, to make sure we're doing it right and not wrong, because the last thing you want to do is fuck this up. Uh, I'll just keep 99. 99 should be plenty. We'll show this to the guide. And dear guide, beetle husks and turtle armor make the little beetle armor, right? Right? We're, we're, we're correct? Okay. Yes. Turtle leggings. So there's the beetle shell and there's the beetle scale. The shell, I think, has the most defense. Yeah. It, it, more like a target, you know, so it makes you, like, quote-unquote a tank. So it, it's basically, if you want maximum defense, roll with the shell. If you want some of the other benefits, roll with the male. Um, I'm going to make the shell because it's, like, the bigger piece, so... I think it would just look a little bit cooler on the mannequin because there's more of that armor on display. That'd be my, my logic here. So turtle helmet, turtle scale mail, and turtle leggings. And then right here you can see it already. Beetle helmet. And we want the beetle shell. And the beetle leggings. Look at that. And then we have 48 chlorophyte bars left to play around with. Sweet. So right after the turtle armor... Yeah, it comes comes the beetle armor. It goes here, right? Because it goes chlorophyte and turtle beetle. Okay, so this should be beetle. Here you go. Beetle has got a lot of defenses. You can see, like, even the leg, just the legs have 18. And most of the defense comes from the chest piece, not the actual helmet, which is, I think it's the only set that actually has that set up that way. Most other sets use a helmet. Like, I mean, even the Shroomite stuff we're wearing uses a helmet to give you different set effects. All right. Shroomite armor is next. And then Spectre armor. Spectre armor is just the bars, right? Maybe some ectoplasm, but you use ectoplasm to make them? 
Let's check again with the guide, but I, w I would like to sell... Uh, what do I want to sell? I wanted to sell something. I thought I wanted to sell something to you. Well, I'm dumb. I mean, that's 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 no surprise, but... Oh! That is what I wanted to sell, the, the stupid fishing line, which we have like four of. So, you can have the fishing line. Should be worth like a gold. Yep, about a gold. Cool. Quick stack what we can. All those jungle bits and bobs, the spores and such, we've been hoarding them. Excellent. Use you, and run through, and quick stack. Okay. Now. Get rid of that, get rid of that. I would rather have than one dirt block. I would rather have some mud in there. So, that's kind of a placeholder, but I'd rather put 99, 999 mud. The silt. I, I can't believe I don't have a spot for it, which probably means we have a stack of 999 silt. Do we have, an, if I quick stack, no, none left me, so that means there's none in these chests right here. We have quite a bit of silt to go through, people. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Real fast, let's show the Spectre Bars. I think I've showed it to him before, but I want to confirm it before I craft it, because why the heck would I waste all that stuff? Why would I even do that? Okay, just Spectre stuff. That's all it's used for. Now... I'm going to go with the hood rather than the mask, because I think the hood came first. I think the mask came later. I've tweaked this armor so much in, in terms of balance changes. So we need 36 plus 18. Uh, I got this. Let's go make a bunch of these. And I think it's just that with chlorophyte. Yeah, rest in pepperonis chlorophyte again. <laughs> yeah, I might need to go mine some more chlorophyte, people. That sucks. Uh, just uses, what, one? Oh, he uses two. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So, what What did I say? 36 plus 18? I don't feel like doing math right now. <laughs> so, so what I'll do is a lazy man's way of, I don't feel like thinking. We'll do it that way. 36 plus, that oh, was 18. I can't even do lazy man's math. Yeah, there goes all the clarified bars I wanted to hold on to. Shoot. Shoot, that sucks. So, Spectre Hood... Spectre a robe and Spectre pants. Spectre pants! It just sounds menacing somehow. So after the beetle armor, right is Shroomite. So Shroomite goes here and then Spectre armor is on this side. Awesome. There you go. Man, that hood looks so cool. With the like the eyes and thing the eyes and stuff. Oh my god, it's all coming together. I love it. I love it. So after Spectre armor. Uh, right here again, this will be Shroomite. What's going right here is Solar Flare armor. That's that's post Moon Lord armor. Post Moon Lord armor. We have to do the, the towers and Moon Lord. And then there's uh, there's the Vortex and then there's Nebula and Stardust. That's going to be the ordering. Still need to go to the other world to get uh, Cobalt, Titanium, and Mithril. But look at that. Awesome. Extractinator. Time to have some fun with you. <laughs> Hello, Time Sink. But let's see how much. Let's uh, let's let's do let's do ourselves a favor. Put money in here. We'll see how much just pure cash we come up with out of this. My inventory is going to be filled, absolutely filled with garbage. But let's see how much cash we get out of this. Every now and then you get like a ten gold stack. You'll you'll notice it. you'll go from like twelve silver to all of a sudden your coin count is gold, and it's like ten gold. And if I can get the pet, that is what I truly, truly, truly want out of this. It's pretty darn rare. Obviously, it's not a guarantee. But if I can get the pet, awesome. Also, I want to go put a, a sunflower on the left-hand side of the, the, the turd where the grass has grown now. Do I have a sunflower in one of these chests? I don't think I do. I'm going to have to go on the ground steal one, which there should be a couple of those everywhere. Look at all the various ores, though. This is what I really like. All the ores and gems. Like, we only have one diamond out of this, but it's just the the variety. <laughs> oh, look, 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 one platinum. We went from one gold to a plat. I think I just got an entire platinum. Unless I got two 50 stacks of gold. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Let's keep the, cha the, the train going here. That was only 400-something. This is the 999. St oh, where's my 144 hertz refresh rate when I need it? <laughs> yeah, I think this goes a little bit quicker with the refresh rate. 
But at the very least, you can actually see the uh, the stuff that we're getting because it's not flashing insanely fast. What are you doing down there, Possessed Armor? What are you even doing? I, uh, UFO, do you want to go get him? Like, hey, buddy. You know, go this way. Stay away from the Extractinator. Let's, let's play a game. Stay away from the Extractinator and make the biggest junk pile we can. We're going to pick up the occasional item. <laughs> but we're, I'm going to walk over there and just pick up a bunch of loot. And it's going it's to make me happy. It's going to make me happy. Let's see if we can get another entire platinum out of that. Look at, look at it in our inventory. One platinum, two gold, 50 silver. I can't believe I got a platinum. I, I've never seen that before. I've only ever seen like stacks of 10 to 20 gold. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. Still no pet. My god, the, what is the percentage chance on something like this? Look how many stacks we've gone through. Well, not stacks, but how many just still... And we have not gotten the pet yet. That percentage has to be insanely low. Oh my god. N no pet in that pile? Damn. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Uh, we're down to 400. This is about as much as we started with with the other stacks. This thing going to take much longer. Amber? Ah, oh, what do we need amber for? I think there's a potion that used amber. So amber's a good thing to be getting a lot of. What else did we get that's super useful? Uh, tungsten. I remember when we needed tungsten like crazy and we could not for the life of us find it. Platinum's good. Gold, obviously good. Spelunker potions. The more the merrier there. Give me another platinum. Come on. We only have 300 blocks left. One platinum. I'm, I'm, I'm going to hold out for another platinum. It ain't going to happen. I think, we'll, I think we might get a gold stack or something, but I don't think we're going to get a platinum. No, we got a bunch of gold that uh, well, the faster the gold numbers take, like when you see a gold tick, the text, that's how many times you're getting money. Eh, give, give me, give me, give me a platinum. I only have like 150 left. Come on. But, but you can see the gold count, what we have in our inventory is what we've gotten purely from this. Because I banked it all. Minus like 50 copper. Because we, we, we did it twice or something like that. And then we banked it all. There we go, guys. We're down to 50. We're almost done. I realize that's not the most entertaining thing, but it was a necessity to get rid of it all. It's been in our inventory for far, far, far too long. And no pet. After all that, no pet. Oh, that hurts. That's a kick in the nads. At the very least, I can store all of it. <laughs> that was cool. That was really cool. Um, Let's see. There was something else I needed to take care of. Chlorophyte, I don't think we have any more use for in terms of my mannequins, like armoring them up. I think what I can do now is go get some... Yeah, I should be able to go make some chlorified bullets, which is huge. Also, let's uh bring that money trough out. Let's stack some cash. 17 platinum. Aw, yeah. Get out of here, stupid eye. Don't need you. I don't need you. All right, Dante. Uh, give me your musket balls. Give me all of your musket balls. I think next episode I'll do the Frost Legion. Just, uh, just get the event rolling. We'll sell the uneven amount. Clarify bullets. I hate that you make 70, not like 100. They just had to be stingy. There goes all the bars. Just like that. <laughs> just like that. So I'll put them down there so they're not exactly prioritized. But now... Uh, I'm like, mm, mm, let me just prioritize them for you really quick. Let me show you with the uh, the sniper rifle. This is where the chlorified bullets shine. Oh, I also want to get the sunflower up here. Okay, let's see if we can find one down here real fast. Should not be a hard thing to do. All right, so that wasn't the best example, clearly. Let me, let me find, like, an enemy who's not going to die instantly. Maybe you? Well, not, not where you're located. All right, you need to be, like, outdoors. So you see how it curved? curves curved and hit him right in the butt like it actually bent around and hit him in the ass <laughs> that poor eye now com couple that with something like fully automatic so say again the vortex beater later or in our case mega shark I, I i don't i don't really miss like if i actually try to aim i don't really miss i mean it, it, it's good especially when you're flying and killing things super good sunflower where oh where are the sunflowers at I think there's some right beneath my house. But if I can keep them there, I'd, I'd prefer to. 
I can go steal some from far out to the side. Really? And surprisingly enough, no. I think there might be some over here. I know we got rid of a lot of them because they take up... I don't even see any on the map. Alright. Let's not waste too much time. Let's just go back. I think they're right below this house. I think there's a couple. If not, I'll check one of these chests to see if we have some. I find it odd that I don't have that many sunflowers. Like, really odd. Sunflowers? No. Huh. I didn't put any over here because that would have messed with spawns and everything. Where are my sunflowers? What did I do with my sunflowers? Ah, I put one over here because it gives me a movement speed buff. That's the one we're going to roll with then, I guess. Let's go steal a sunflower from there. Not like we need to worry about Skeletron anymore. Alright, I need to stop shooting my bullets because we're using Chlorophyte ones and I don't want to waste them. So, to the dungeon we go. Instant. Yes. Epic. Yes. Take that sunflower. Head back home. Move the lever over because I am OCD. And then I, I'll eventually start working on a better little like gar uh, garden or something up here. But for now, having that up here makes me move quicker and it decreases enemy spawns. That is nice. Obviously, I have to be pretty close to it to really get that effect. But if we have a couple little garden, like mini gardens or something like that, and those spread all throughout, there we go. But guys, it's time to wrap the episode up here. Episode 178. I got, I got all kinds of armor. All kinds of armor. Specter, beetle, turtle armor. Oh my goodness, we're making progress. Shoemite goes here. And then it's then it's post Moon Nord armor. We're getting there. I think we'll again we'll do the Frost Legion next episode. I don't think you need to be knight. I'm pretty sure it just doesn't matter when the hell you use it. But we'll do that, see if that spawns Santa Claus in. That'll be super cool. Thank you all for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.